Hello guys, my name is Evans and welcome back to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm continuing to look at the October, November 2017 IPCC ICT uh, paper. And um, in the last video, we looked at, um, we ended with step number 24. And in this video, we're going to start with step number 25. Okay, so step 25 um, is um, basically an evaluation or let me say, um, um, uh, stating some advantage and disadvantage of something. So this um, says this relational database uses data stored in two tables. Describe in your own words two advantages of using relational tables rather than a flat file. Okay, so this comes back to the topic that you guys have been doing um, on um, um, flat files and relational databases. And um, you guys, you know about relational databases that it's a database that has got two or more tables which are joined together by relationships or links. Okay. And um, you've talked about the one-to-many relationship, uh, the one-to-one -one relationship and stuff like that. And then you know about the flat file, that it is a file. Uh, it's just a single table, in other ways, um, um, made up of columns and rows and stuff like that. And the data in that table, um, everything, I mean, will be stored in that table. So we are being asked here to um, write down um, in no more than 50 words um, um, advantages of using relational tables compared to flat files, okay? And so we're going to type out that in our evidence document. So the first thing that we need to state is that um, um, uh, in a relational table, um, we avoid um, the duplication of data. Uh, when you have a flat file, um, you find that as the file, um, as the database gets bigger and bigger, um, 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 there's data which is going to be repeated every now and then, okay? Um, but in a relational table, we only collect uh, one set of data and then relate it uh, with data that may need the same um, information. For example, um, we can have um, students, okay? We can have students uh, who are um, uh, taking certain subjects, okay? Um, so instead, for example, you have a, a, a database for, um, for, for a class. Um, it has got a column for the school, okay? Uh, the school name, and then just got the column for the subject name and the name of the student. And so um, if we didn't have a relation database, what we're going to have is a situation where we repeat the name of the school because it's common in all the subjects that the student is taking. Um, and then the name of the student will be repeated because it's also common in all the subjects that the student is taking. But we avoid that. We can uh, simply create a relational database where um, we collect only the name of the school once and the name of the child once, but relate this information to any other thing that the child uniquely does in school, okay? So um, you can say relational, uh, relational, uh, relational. How do you write relational database? <laughs> okay, so relational database um, avoids um, or prevents, if you want, avoids um, or prevents the duplication of data. Okay, so um, also known as data redundancy, if you want, also uh, known as data redundancy. Okay, so it also um, minimizes, minimizes, okay, minimize, not minuses, minimizes um, the likelihood. Mm -hmm. the likelihood of making um, data entry errors, data entry error, errors, errors. Okay, it minimizes the likelihood of data entry errors as well, maybe we were just going to write two anyway, as well as reduces, reduces, um, the storage requirements storage requirements okay uh, so because data is going to be in one place uh, rather in multiple tables okay and the multiple tables are going to be in one single database okay um there's not going to be duplication of data so the more data is duplicated the larger space we're going to need um that data. the other reasons could be the other reason is um um, is that um, um, relational relational 
databases um, also help also help in um, to update um, data faster okay so you have got faster data update you update one place um, so say somebody has shifted you just need to update one place and everything is going to be arranged but if it's a flat file every instance of that data you want to update must be updated manually one by one okay all right so next step tawara cruises um, would like to use social networking to promote their business describe in your own words um, how they can use social networking as means of communication you guys you are so good at social networking sites uh, you use twitter you use um, facebook you use myspace um, you use just snapchat and um, instagram and all these um, uh, social networking sites okay so um, how can you use social networking sites as means of communication for your business so for example you can start to post about updates for your business um, you can invite people to make comments and suggestions um, you can post videos that people can relate with you can re uh, request for customer um, uh, opinions about your um, your your um, your your business okay so you can release status updates um, if you want okay so let's go ahead and type just some of these few things okay so here um, um you can okay you can request you can request um for customer feedback okay on your business also um, um you can make posts news items if you want um, about products uh, you can post videos um, photos to communicate uh, with uh, your customers um, the other thing maybe that you yeah you can do that we talked about is um, um, yeah we've talked about customers making feedback um, um, you can also talk about um, um, you can sort of chat with customers um, so you can um, chat with customers uh, customers and make um, negotiations for example for prices and stuff like that negotiations for prices or costs of products online okay i think that should be enough um let's not go so much in detail all right so and that marks the end of the access section and the next thing that we're supposed to look at is task number four which is document um production so Thank you so much for watching um, this video and don't forget to like, to comment, to share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video uh, shortly.